Andy Katz has been all over this story as well. He joins us now here on Sports Center. Andy, for a long time, there had been a lot of speculation that the NCAA wouldn't even touch this. They wouldn't get involved. This was not a case of uh, recruiting violations, any kind of cheating scandal. And in the past, usually it has to be a full-fledged investigation, letter of inquiry, infractions committee, none of that. And yet here comes the NCAA to apparently lay down the hammer on Monday. How did this come about so quickly? Well, what the NCAA did is they used the free report, which was paid for by Penn State, as their de facto investigation. Also, Mark Emmert, according to a number of sources, had to get empowered by the executive board. And as we saw in the announcement for Monday's news conference, Ed Ray, the Oregon State president, who is the chief of that executive board, will be on the call and in the news conference with Mark Emmert. As of Sunday night, does Penn State know exactly what's coming their way? Well, according to multiple sources, the athletic department as of late Sunday night does not know what's going to come. Now, we do not know whether or not the president, Rodney Erickson, knows what's coming on Monday morning. And we have to assume that he does, because if he does not, then the NCAA is not offering any kind of due process for Penn State. By allowing someone from Penn State involved in the process, then they can sort of deal with this without having to go through any kind of litigation. Had they not done that, then they would open themselves up for that, according to multiple sources. But as for the athletic department, according to late Sunday night, they do not know what is coming Monday morning. And normally, when you have an infractions case, the athletic department is privy to it up to 24 hours before so they can prepare their response. Andy, we can all agree that the uh, highest concern is for the victims of the Penn State scandal. But what about way, way, way down the list, the thought of penalizing people who aren't responsible? And that's the current players at Penn State who had nothing to do with this. Well, first of all, that's what happens in every infractions case. If you go back to USC, the players that were penalized at USC had nothing to do with what happened with Reggie Bush. In this case, though, if the reports are true that there could be up to a three-year postseason ban, the rules are clear that if you have remaining eligibility that is equal to the postseason ban, then you can transfer immediately and play right away. So if it is a three-year postseason ban, then sophomores, juniors, and seniors could leave Penn State right now and play this fall at another school. Knowing the recruiting game the way you know it, are there uh, other colleges out there preparing their... Uh, their, their opportunities to try to poach some of those players? Well, it certainly would be a dicey situation because the football season obviously is all, almost upon us. And to try to find homes for all these football players certainly would be difficult. It would certainly be easier for those that are higher profile. This is so, uh, so odd for the NCAA to be involved in something like this. Uh, President Emmert, does this open up the door for him to, once we get past Penn State, and this will take a long time, once we do, though, to start looking into other schools and some of their backgrounds and some of the illegal happenings there? Well, according to a number of different sources that I've talked to, a former committee chair, another president earlier on Sunday, they think this is a one-time thing. And now President Emmert has tried to have some sort of power throughout a number of different cases. When you look at alignment, which he had no power over, he was almost like a lobbyist. And now suddenly he is like a lawmaker, which they've empowered him to do so. Going forward, though, he really would open himself up to suddenly rule on other criminal and immoral behavior. All of the people that I've talked to think this is a one-time occurrence because the case is so unique. Andy Katz, College Insider with the very latest.